hello everybody welcome back to the med channel so in this episode i just want us to look at some of the answers that the vice president gave during an interview she had with him costa monza and um specifically i want us to focus on the on the answers that she gave concerning climate change so first uh, this this was the first statement that she issued on climate change i want you to like follow me very well i want you to follow me very well and stick until to the end you understand where i'm trying where i'm trying to drive at first listen to the first statement that the vice president gave about climate change during the interview listen to this climate change let me assure the zambians that yes indeed the drought has very devastating effect. We have seen the crop wilting mm. under the heat of climate change. I hope then uh, the reason you gave us uh, it being an excuse, we hope mm. that you do agree. It's not just an excuse. It mm. is a real issue. The issue of climate change is real. We'll but I will, not, I will not go into mm. any more details, but just to uh, tell Zambians humanly. I like to use that word humanly because there is a God. Okay, now, so the vice president acknowledged that climate change indeed is a factor. It affects the economy and other. She acknowledges that indeed it's not just, she even used the term that it is not just an excuse. It is a factor. So, let's now go back to the do, to do let's go back to the time when the pf was in government because this drought is not happening for the first time it happened during the pf and the pf what did they say we're having these challenges these challenges because of the drought now let me quote for you in fact let me show you on the screen what president hh said about the issue of climate change Th this is not coming from me this is note that this is coming from president hh himself Listen to this. True leaders attend to problems and not blame anyone or climate change. Not blame anyone or climate change. Pay attention to that part. When you have when, when you have a change, the best way is to attend to it because external factors beyond human control have existed for ages and will remain with us. For more years to come, why? Why you for you? So, so uh, all these problems beyond our control will always happen, and it is a fact. They will always happen. But in other words, what President Edge told us this was in 2019, by the way, is that problems beyond our control will always come. So, but the thing is that we should not uh, use them as an excuse. Rather, we should attend. To them so let me continue wonder how people in the arab world which is mostly desert manage to supply electricity 365 days a year when not a single drop of rainfall has ever dropped the difference is leadership quality and vision Punkamo kwamana h h um, in Nyanja, even though I'm not good at Nyanja, they say Atichua minagaru kuruma mbuzi Noti mbuzi kuruma garu <laughs> So now, the issue of drought now It has become, it, it, it has become a valid reason for, for the UPND to complain It has become a valid reason But it was not a valid reason for the PF to complain Because they were not attending to the problem. As of Wandanda, sometimes, um, Wandanda, Ukuranda kwa rianguka, ukubomba kwa rishupa. So now, when we look at uh, during the PF, how did they handle the issue of drought? Well, they introduced um, ama, nikane, ama crops, ama, ama drought resistant. The, the PF introduced that. So now the question is that, why didn't the UPND continue with the same program that the PF had left? Yeah, yeah, you should uh, program, yeah, yeah, when it comes to the Kuma drought, because this is not happening for the first time. You know, sometimes it is better to learn from other people's mistakes than to learn from your own mistakes. The PF made numerous number of mistakes during, you know, say, period, yeah, was it 10 years, you know, say, what, take it, but PF, starting from, by Michael Trufia Sata to, by ECU. 
So the UPND was supposed to learn from the mistakes that happened in Nankane, MUPF. We, we know that when it comes to Kuri, Kuri Nankane, Kuri uh, drought, it is a natural cause. And that is why, as a government, you need to sensitize people more about climate change. We teach people about climate change and what causes climate change. We can do it through radio, just like the way we are doing Kuri Cholera, you know, in all languages and all that. And also introduce crops that are drought resistant. If 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 the if the government had continued with that program that the PF left, the agricultural program that the PF left, <laughs> this problem right now would have been minimized. Like drought resistant. Ngatakuri as much loss as people ever quit up right now. So okay, let's move away from that. Let's move further. There are so many. Let's see another one. What is the issue going near climate change? This this was another post by President H H. Not these these are not my words. It's coming from what President H H wrote on his Facebook page. Go back as early as 2019. You will find this post. They are still there. Climate change is a crisis that must be mitigated, not used. Not, not to be used as an excuse for incompetence. Not to be used as an excuse for incompetence. It is time for the government to constitute a task force to deal with this urgent issue. We are open to providing assistance. So he was even voluntarily or volunteering to provide assistance to the Zambian government. By then, who were the PF? So now, we need to see the same assistance that he wanted to provide to the PF to see it work now. Because he is now the head of state and he seems to have all the solutions. So I'm not here to mock the UPND government. I'm just here to remind by UPND what they used to say in opposition and to see if what they used to say in opposition is adding up with, with what, what they are saying right now. And I also, the vice president said that... Um, she gave a reason why they always refer to the PF. You know, when they're talking about problems, they always say, okay, we are here because of the PF, because of that. She made a statement on that. She said that um, the government has taken responsibility. But there are two ways in which you take responsibility. First, you acknowledge the cause. And now you, you, you now think of what to do about it. So there are two things there. Of which... I agree, but what I don't agree with is coming uh, coming out to be reminding us on what the PF did when we already know what the PF did. Because what we do not know is the government plans in motion to solve some of our problems, like our economic problems, for example. That is uh, the government strategy. That is what most of us Zambians don't know. So, if they are coming out here to talk about the problems that we have in the country. They should be coming to tell us about the solutions and not about what caused our problems because we already know what caused our problems. They already know what caused our problems. And that is why that is where I don't agree with the issue of the blame game. That is where I don't agree with the issue. I agree with the issue of the blame game. So now, now move forward and up our president when it comes to climate change. Not to be used as an excuse for incompetence. So each time the, the, the PF complaint, may it be party COVID, may it be party drought, or in other words, climate change, Kuriba UPND, it was nothing. So how come it has become something now that they are in office? Hmm? She said, our president said that uh, at the economy te braga da bra. Yeah, it's true. Economy te braga da bra. But why was the president telling us that the moment they just is just being sworn in at 14 hours Dora Nishina Ipona? Why the why was the president telling us that? Because he, that was a bragadabra statement that the president made. So people were waiting on the bragadabra results. So it is very much unfair about especially praising us to be coming out to criticize on people 
who are just going to who are just asking the government that okay for what to write any number that if you wanna how does that become a problem one book that we start that in an eyes up when i say the pre government promised us this where is this why are you attacking me me i'm just simply reminding the government of what they promised us it is not me that said dora by 14 hours it was not me it is not me that said that climate change should is not a factor it's not me it, it was the president that said that so why are you attacking us why can't you just provide solutions for for three for more solutions so right now we saw that dollar and i ponaco is it now it's about 24 23 in somewhere there now ponaco but it is also important to note that the method used to bring down the dollar it's more like artificial but still more fair flow dimpia but we get more fair dimpia so in dimpia we get more it will run out so what is going to happen is that when that money runs out that is when we are going to see now the true value of the quarter against the dollar number po ya rasa ile ya number so there is a possibility ya kwa kuti asa ya beyond na pale ya 27 kashinga 28 so um i would i would agree na method ya bo at the same time because uh, sometimes it's important to quit that rest moi ka ta dollar because sometimes nga ya asa na pa move even when you come and put in some measures in place to bring it down it might be very difficult for you to bring it Maybe let's say Africa 35, you move me by 35, you go say Africa 25. It might be very difficult. So sometimes it's good to find a way to get But the thing is that they should not sleep. The government should not even sleep at because don't have more by 27 years as a compared to 23. Because you're in by 24 years to watch that way. They should not even sleep because they know even themselves that the method of confession it is temporary and it is artificial. Now you should have to run out in patience, but you must inject. Inji, it will go back to uko poya ali para peni pa original nangu ni minga na iru zingina kona nani kane like we can even see yasa piti da kono piti da so the government should not even relax at your door and i pona so anyway let me know what you think about um uh, pari wipa president hh of bara and the climate change while they were in opposition in comparison with what ba, ba vice president bara and dina bina climate change then you also like in a more opinion when you compare these views what do you think about the situation most of the because most of the things i've said yet if you mom kana mwana mimi ni mkano pia ndiye ba vice president pia ndiye ba president wao in opposition so let me know what you think in the comment section